In this video, we're going to be using HCNC Alpine Forest and the HCNC Garand Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and man, we have a great one for you today. We're using HCNC, and that is Hendrix Classics and Company. This is Alpine Forest, and let me tell you, this is an amazing scent. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna put the scent description for you right there. Uh, you got fresh Fraser fir, menthol. It is definitely green, but it's also clean and refreshing. It's bright, it's great. It's one of the best green scents that I think I've ever smelled. It's really, really nice. And look at that pour. Even after I've scraped some off, <laughs> it is to the rim. Now this is five ounces, but I'm telling you, it is much closer to six or beyond. No one does a pour like Pete from Hendrix. This comes to you $21 for five ounces. And on our cost chart there, that's $4.20 an ounce, which is a fair price. But again, that pour, you're getting more like six ounces. It is amazing. Oh man, the scent on this one is just fantastic. The base, I'll put the ingredients for you right there. It's not vegan nor tallow. Uh, because it doesn't have tallow, but it also has some elements in it that sort of disqualifies it from being vegan, like goat's milk. It lathered super easily. It is nice. It is creamy. I'll show you a lather shot right there. Very nice. Very creamy. Oh man, really, really awesome. And the scent on this, it is just a total winner. I've gotten so many great scents right at the end of <laughs> 2021. This probably was another soap that would have been in my top scents list had I tried it earlier in the year, because it's just fantastic. Maybe one of the best green scents I've ever smelled. Uh, the raise for today is the HCNC Garand Razor, and this runs about $26. It is brass and zamic, which is essentially pot metal, and Pete sent this over uh, for me to try, along with the soap, uh, just so you know. But I'm gonna tell you right now, would I buy that soap with my own money? Yes, it is fantastic great and we'll see about the razor also this is going to be up for giveaway the razor there'll be an announcement coming soon a channel announcement we're going to be announcing some big things and there will be quite a big giveaway in that video so stay tuned for that probably come today or tomorrow but anyway here's the garand comes to you for 26 dollars from hcnc and we have a gillette nasset blade in there the handle on this is about four inches long a little longer than i like honestly i like mine three to three and a half inches uh, but it does feel good in the hand. It's got a nice weighty brass handle and we look forward to using this razor today. Okay, let's get into it. Enough babbling. Oh, don't forget, by the way, folks, if you buy something from HCNC, use the promo code uh, IMCDB and Pete will send you a free gift with your order. And of course, we are using the HCNC bowl today. And I'm telling you what, there is some creamy goodness <laughs> in there. Pete's soaps are fantastic. Um, he wasn't on the best artisans list simply because I didn't have a chance to use enough individual soaps. I have to use usually four or five individual soaps and I hadn't used that many from Pete, but I'm telling you, he's almost a shoe in for next year after I have a chance to try more so individual soaps. So I know a lot of people commented on the list about that and you're right, it is great stuff. Don't get me wrong, you'll see here in a moment. The brush for today is the Polar Shaving G4, which you can find on Amazon and I'll link all the products below. If you are interested, and like I said, keep keep an eye out for that giveaway because that is going to be very nice. All right, here we go. Look at that creamy goodness right there. That is good stuff. Very easy to work with. Not too soft, not too firm, right where I like it. Had no problems making a lather. And the scent on this, I believe Pete told me that this is an original. It is fantastic. I really like this. This might be my favorite green type scent. And when I say green, I mean more like, a, sort of like an evergreen, but don't think just like a pine tree where you just get a sort of resinous green, I'm gonna call it. This is different. There's some brightness to this that makes it very uplifting and invigorating. It is fantastic. I love it. <laughs> and so yes, I would buy this all day, every day, because it is fantastic. Also, I wanna mention, I was talking to Pete from Hendrix just yesterday. Splashes are coming, folks. So those of you who have been waiting, they are coming. He's working on it. I don't know when, 
but they are coming. So if you've been holding out because of splashes, at some point, they will be coming. And I'm looking forward to that as well because I would love a splash in this scent. It is fantastic. Now also keep in mind, you can buy the fragrance oil and make your own splash if you please. But I'm telling you right now, that is some good stuff. Look at that. Yeah, very nice indeed. All right, let's get into it. I'm pretty excited today. This scent has just got me going. <laughs> I really like it because honestly, I saw this on his website. I thought about buying it. But you know, if you have a couple of um, evergreen type scents, that's usually enough because it kind of gets the same. But this one is a little bit different because it's got an unusual brightness to it, to my nose. And I just think it's fantastic. And so, by the way, the label, which is really awesome, is done by uh, Razor Ray. Let's find his logo. There it is right there. Razor Ray makes great labels. And that's very awesome. Sorry for hitting the camera there. I'm unprofessional as always. Here we go. Let's get into it. A good blade feel on this razor, so I can tell you right away. If you like a an inexpensive razor with a little blade feel, this one certainly has it. It's it's uh, just within those first couple of strokes there. It does not strike me as a you know extremely mild razor like say the Feather ASD2, but it doesn't strike me as overly efficient either. So I think you get some blade feel here without being too much. There's some good heft due to that brass long handle. Feeling good so far. Feeling good. That is not bad at all. And again, this one, this will be up for giveaway. I'll be putting this up for giveaway when I make the announcement. So I, I'll go ahead and give you sort of a sneak peek, if you will, or a little bit of spoiler. One of the things that I've been asked a lot is... People enjoy the real talk show that David Gonzalez and I, So Sharp David, do on on um, uh, Instagram Live. But for some people, um, you know, the adult language that's sometimes used, not generally by me, but by David and others, you know, they, they don't care for it. It's not their thing. And so I've been asked many, many times if I would consider just doing a straight show with um, just interviews with artisans and perhaps members of the community and keep it clean. And the answer to that is yes, it is coming. It is coming. Uh, I am happy to do that. I don't mind that whatsoever. And as many people as we can reach um, and showcase these wonderful artisans and people in the community, that's what we'll do. So my goal is to always be um, palatable to as many people as possible. So for me, it's not a chore to keep things clean. It's no sacrifice for me to keep, keep keep things clean. Now that said, I don't mind profanity at all. I don't use it a lot personally. You know, I'll use it when I'm talking to the boys or something like that on occasion, but my life is not filled with profanity. So it's just not something that I do. But at the same time, for those of you who use it, I'm not put off by it. I like watching a uh, you know, shows on HBO and, and you know, I'm not an old prude. So uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm not condemning anybody for the way they roll. I'm just saying that uh, I do like to, as much as possible, keep it clean. And so we will have a new show where we will keep it clean. And that's one of the announcements that I've already let fly, but there'll be some others as well. And uh, we're just going to work hard this year to, to expand our hobby and, you know, we always work hard at that. You know this. But we're going to work even harder this year to bring many new people to traditional shaving and to make it a safe and welcoming space as much as we reasonably can and a place where everybody can participate. And if your children happen to be in the room, then great. You know, no problem. We'll keep it, keep it clean and pristine and kind. Kind being key also. And so we have some plans for that to sort of increase the footprint of our hobby and all the things we're doing, and we'll announce those along with a sizable giveaway. So be on the lookout for that. But we're not going to double up on shows, so I will speak to David about, you know, maybe we'll knock Real Talk back to once a month if he wants to, or maybe David will, you know, want to do something uh, a little bit different. We'll, we shall see. We're still going to do Real Talk, but I may not do it twice a month. I may do Real Talk... Um, once a month, and then Shave Talk, which is going to be the the, uh, the name of my other show, Once a Month. That way we're not doubling up, because 
We realize there's a lot of um, live content out there and relatively few people to view it. And so we don't want to burn everybody out. But at the same time, I'm very sensitive to the fact that there are many different people out there who have different preferences on content. And some folks just don't like hearing profanity. And I am okay with that. I'm also okay if it's if it's not if you're not bothered by it or you use it that's that's fine um, as well. So we will do both shows and just have a little of both. And so I have been contacted quite a few times <laughs> about real talk and some of the language at times. And I just want you to know I hear you. I'm here for you. And I know some people are the opposite. They're like, ah, oh, don't be an old fuddy dud and all that. It's not that. It's not that. But in my personal life and in my work life, I don't go around dropping F-bombs or using profanity all day long. I don't. Um, it's sort of a rare instance for me that's reserved for, you know, I stub my toe or I'm talking to the boys and we're, you know, cracking wise or something like that. It's not something that I do on a regular basis. So no sacrifice here for me in doing that. But I want to accommodate as many people as possible. So this soap, by the way, I haven't spoken much about fantastic. Love it. Great scent, great quality. I'm going to re-lather for a quick cross pass here. Very nice indeed. I am loving it. Oh man, what a scent this is. <laughs> Pete snuck up on me with this one. I had a conversation with Pete uh, yesterday or the day before, and we were just talking about all things shaving, and his customer service and attitude about things is just fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what he comes up with. I'm really look forward, looking forward to those splashes. The soap is fantastic here, very slick, very nice. There's a little bit of menthol cooling going on here, which I like personally. The razor here, I would say, if I were to judge it in efficiency, is about, you, you definitely get some blade feel. So it's not, it might be just a hair under medium, but keep in mind, I tend to prefer what I think is almost medium might be well into medium for you because I tend to prefer some blade feel. So my scale might be a little off um, because I love the feel of some blade. The blade feel helps me shape. I can feel, I can actually feel it cutting and know, and I know by that feel when to make more strokes and when to move over just by that blade feel. So for me, it assists and there's definitely menthol in here. I'm starting to get that cooling. It's very pleasant. Man, what a nice shave today. <laughs> Just really fun. And that's really what it's all about, having fun. And that's what we set out to do here is have fun, be kind, try to be as courteous as we can, and just try to bring as many people to the hobby as we can. That's always, a goal. well, the goals, you know, I repeat these pretty often. Number one is fun and I wanna have fun. That's number one. Number two, growing the hobby and bringing more people to the promised land that is traditional shaving. <laughs> and uh, when we achieve those goals, we're really happy. And also as we grow, we reach more people. So, you know, we definitely wanna continue to grow the channel here. And you can help grow the channel by, uh, you know, liking, subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please do. Almost half of the people who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So if you can subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And please let me know below. If you subscribe today, let me know you did. I would like to thank you personally because I do appreciate it. We have a lot of content here. We're very busy and we work hard to show you everything we can show you and showcase things. So one of the things I like to do when I use evaluation products, and those are products that are sent to me that I didn't pay for, which is the case today with this razor and soap. So the soap, no question I would buy this with my own money. The razor, I probably wouldn't, honestly, because I just have so many razors already. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the razor. It is a nice razor, but it's just one of those razors that it's kind of duplicative which, with what I already have. Um, and so also it has that long handle, which is just out of my wheelhouse preference wise. So personally, would I buy this razor? No, it wouldn't be for me just based on the long handle alone. I don't like four inch handles. Now the way it shaves, is it a nice shaver? Yes, it is. Shaves perfectly well, no problem with it. Um, very, very inexpensive, 26 bucks. So if you were gonna uh, give a starter kit away or something like that, this would be a great razor, I think, to put in there because it's efficient enough, but not too efficient. I don't, th I don't think it's menacing. 
And some people really like long handles. So if you find yourself liking long handles, this might be a razor that you can pick up very inexpensively and get a really nice shave with. The truth is, folks, you don't have to spend, you know, $200, $300, $400 on a safety razor. You just don't. You can buy a razor like this for for $26, or you've seen me use the 28 cent razor and get a perfect shave with it. You don't have to spend a lot. If you spend a lot because you enjoy it, you enjoy the fit and finish, you enjoy the way it looks, you enjoy you know the little nuances of the razor, that is okay, I'm with you. I think buying a very good quality razor is a wonderful thing. It's gonna last you a lifetime. Heirloom quality, you'll be able to pass it down. But, but, you don't have to. You can, you can buy something just like this. It will shave perfectly. Um, and so where the rubber meets the road, which is the shave, you don't have to spend a lot ever. And you can participate in this hobby without spending a lot. All right. Man, oh man, I, I'm taken with this scent. <laughs> it's really fantastic. Uh, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our PAA alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shape. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles, very nice shape. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel uh, Cucumber with aloe, very nice. I'm telling you, I had an excellent shave today with HCNC Alpine Forest. This soap has been executed perfectly to incorporate a nice green, evergreen type scent with some brightness. And it also has a subtle menthol cooling. It's not a menthol bomb, so don't think that. This is an excellent um, scent and excellent soap. And honestly, had I tried it earlier, it would have been in my top scents of 2021. I absolutely love it. This might be my favorite green scent that I've ever smelled. It's just fantastic. I loved it. Very, very well executed. Great job, Pete. We use... The HCNC Garand Razor, which is fantastic. And again, this will be up for giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, very inexpensive. Would I buy this one with my own money? No, it's du duplicative uh, with what I already have in the handles, just a little too long for me, but it did do a great job. It's very inexpensive, and so it's a razor you could try and it shaves well with no problem. I would absolutely <laughs> buy this one if you're interested in that. Um, what else did we use? Oh, I forgot to mention, we used our Polar G4 brush, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Our HCNC bowl, which is phenomenal. It is now my favorite bowl. Fantastic. And we're going to finish it off today with Spike. Uh, this one is active. It's got sort of a woody type vibe to it with some brightness. Really, really nice. And I can't wait for the splashes from HCNC. And don't forget, if you order from HCNC, use promo code IMCDB and get a free gift. Thank you, everybody. And remember, if you have not subscribed, today is your day. And let me know below because I would love to thank you personally. Thank you for all you do. I appreciate you very much. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.